Part of the issue why organics are so expensive is also because of supply and demand. The demand for organics is going up. Who in America is buying it? Well, according to Nielsen and NMI research, three out of every four Americans have consciously chosen to buy organic food in the past year. Now, some of them might have only bought a single organic product, but there is a subset that are so-called devoted organic shoppers that represent the vast majority of all organic food consumption in this country. These so-called foodies are not 1%, they're 25%, one out of every four Americans. Now let's look at these elite foodies. What, what does the elite foodie look like? Two out of five of them have an annual household income of less than $50,000. One out of five has an annual household income of less than $30,000. These elite people are about 20% people of color and another 15% Hispanic. Six out of 10 of them shop at Walmart. 91% of Walmart shoppers said that they would purchase organics from Walmart. Some of the answer to that, Walmart asked its consumers and found that 91% of them would be buying organic. So why is organic food so darn expensive? I mean, that's huge news, right? I mean, that means that 91% of Walmart shoppers want to support organic farmers in China. And if the Walmart customer base says that they want to save on organics, that means it's too damn expensive. And if Walmart gets into the organics games, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that the USDA has pulled back on their stringent rules on organics. And I'm sure labor won't be an issue with Walmart organics, which is an oxymoron. Uh, if they're not paying their employees jack shit. I doubt that they're going to start paying their farmers a whole lot better. And really, if you look at the wages of Walmart, it's clear that the Waltons probably subscribe to the time is money argument. And once they know how long it takes to grow these organic crops without human tampering, they'll probably go back to conventional farms and just slap the word organic on their food. And realistically, it should be said with air quotes, uh, all things sold with organic, with, uh, towards Walmart should have air quotes on it, right? Spaghetti, produce, employee. And this is another big problem within the industry. It's becoming a marketing gimmick by competitors. So to separate themselves from these phonies, the true organic companies have to get the coveted USDA badge, which is more expensive. It's like they're entering a club to do the right thing and they have to pay for it while the purveyors of evil get away scot-free. Look, I think that these assholes have to buy into a badge that says USDA toxic. If we're gonna need to know what the USDA considers to be organic, we should know what they consider toxic too. We should probably tattoo that onto the top of the CEO of Monsanto and the Walton's heads. That's the need to control the supply because these companies know that we'll give into our body's demand for nutrition, you know, to adhere to the basic rules of life. So through the use of, the, of USDA regulations and price gouging, they get to charge more for something that everybody wants. This is the opposite way that supply and demand should be working. Increased demands means that there should be more supply at less costs. If we are to make a efficient distribution network, the costs would be lower and we could push for a more ethical means to get whatever out to the people, right? The costs go up when it becomes rare. That's how it should work. The fact that it doesn't, it means that we have proof that this is the greed that the capitalists are swimming in. And we'd all see that if we weren't drinking poisoned water.